this spot out, guys. Beautiful pump house, great spot for crappie. What is going on? Guys, we are on a uh, local lake here. In fact, it's CJ Strike, most of you. If you guys are in Idaho, you know it's CJ Strike Reservoir. And today, we are crappie fishing. Um, I'm with my old man. We have hot dogs with us as a backup for dinner, but what we're hoping for is to catch some crappie and eat a little crappie, or we might, there are a lot of perch in here too. Anyway, cook up some panfish for our dinner and just have a good afternoon out here. So let's get fishing. Try casting right in front of this pump house. It's really deep right in front of here. A lot of times uh, schools of crappie will be down here or perch. Well guys, I'm not going to give you a summary of what's happened in the last two hours because pretty much nothing's happened. Here we are, we, we, we went up river a ways and the water looks way different. It's this nice, like, kind of clear green color. And uh, there's a nice little spot here, so we're going to keep keep trying for these crappie. Oh, we've caught a couple of bass so far. Let's keep casting. Guys, when the going gets tough, the tough use night crawlers. Night crawler away. missed him. I shouldn't set the hook that hard in case that was a crappie. And it ripped his lips right off. All right, night crawler number two is on the sacrificial hook. Got one. Oh yes. Let's see what we got. Please be a panfish. May it be a pen. Oh my. Well, we got perch here. That's uh, I was looking for panfish. That's a little bit smaller than I had envisioned. We'll, uh, we'll let that one go. Another worm on the sacrificial hook. Away. Got another one. This one feels better. And it's a crappie. No, no it's a bluegill. Oh, a oh, pumpkin right. seed bluegill. All right, now we're cooking. All right, guys, we got a pumpkin seed bluegill red ear. It's a red ear. I've not caught a red ear this year. No rhyme intended. Nice. We, we keep it, well, right? Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. We'll oh, keep yeah. it. With the possibility of pulling him later. It's got a bluegill in there. This rope was in here from an anchor, but I just left it in there because look, it kind of gives him some cover to hide under. Excellent. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not eating hot dogs. Mr. Nightcrawler's getting it done. I'm not proud. Just worm dragging along the bottom. Pretty simple. Because I'm a simple man. Oh, we got a crappie. First crappie. A little tyke. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he's pretty. Let him go. You're catfishing yeah. later, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> all right. That's cool, man. Bye bye, little guy. All right. Well, at least we're getting into a few. Well, uh, let's see here. You fish. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe we will eat him. Well, he's, uh, he's really struggling. Oh, now he has some life. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey. Yeah, you. Oh, look there at we that. go. That was weird. Yeah. I think you just need to be jolted a little bit. Dad's got one. Looks like another little guy. Looks like a crappie. Yep. Another, another crappie. <laughs> huh. Well, on the red one too. Bigger. On that red, yeah, it's they just want the bigger, red one. Yeah. A little bit bigger. Let's go, I say we try for, <laughs> yeah. that's only a couple mouthfuls. Come on, there's got to be some bigger ones around here. All right, so my dad, one of the crappie died that he caught. Sure. Yeah, he, he, oh, uh, he's uh, kind of flicking. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> well, I yeah, think we're bringing him up. Oh, yeah, he is going down. Well, we'll see. I got one. Oh, nice. We'll see. If he comes back out of the service, we'll just keep him. Throw him in lava. Sounds like a plan. This one might be slightly bigger. Yeah. Oh, look. Here he, he comes up again. Oh, I got another bluegill. Oh, yeah. And look, there's your crappie right there. I will keep him. Another red-eared bluegill, guys. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. I'm going to throw him in there. There we go. I wish that bluegill got like 10 pounds. Because oh. for the fight that those little boogers give up, right. if they got big, even that even 5 pounds, fun. it would be like the hardest fighting freshwater fish ever. Uh, Another crappie. Oh, Ooh, cool they're there. getting... Oh, that's... Mm, yeah, yeah we can throw him in the live well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we should keep it. And we throw him in the live well, and, and if he's not... Call, yes. Right? Right now we have a very small dinner. <laughs> I got one. A crappie. My first crappie of the day. They're all really small though. Get down there. Get your old man. Might be something. Another bluegill. Gosh, I am crushing the gills today. This is a true bluegill. There we go. 
My dad's got one. A big ball of fish right back there. I got something. Oh, I got a big crappie. Yes. Now we're cooking. Guys, we are in business. That's what we're talking about. On the old night crawler. Night crawler never fails. So we have our fish here. This was the size we were looking for. But then these two, uh, we brought them up from like 30 feet. So they just, they were struggling on the surface. Um, so we didn't mean to keep two that were that size. Uh, the official police report will be accidental death. Like so. All these fish are dead, by the way. Oops, I just, oh man, I hashed it up. I cut straight through the spine. This knife, I just sharpened it. <laughs> Good grief. Guys, we have a small problem here. And I mean small. This mug is our for fish. That's all the meat we got off it. So, um, I, I hope you have some more crappie that you're going to catch for us. Because... These are going to be, otherwise, going to be two really small fish tacos here. So I'll start cooking, but I'm hoping that you get another one, okay? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> excellent. After well, you went through all that to clean. I, I know. You got a good one. All right. Now, okay, because, because yeah. That's we, better than well, we've yeah. gotten. Uh -huh. so that's, that's the biggest one of the day for you. Well, so. I all right. Yeah. I'll, no, no. I'll, uh, I've got the flay board out. I'll just flame up right now. Let's start up the stove. I always love that part. <laughs> and then today's seasonings will, will feature Louisiana fish fry products, blackened Cajun seasoning, my favorite kind of Cajun. I've tried some different ones and this is definitely my favorite. And then we have sea salt and black peppercorn. I actually don't think I'll use the pepper because this stuff is, this stuff is all you need right here, the salt and the Cajun. And then of course, butter. Quite a bit of butter. Man, I love the way that looks. And then I'm just gonna add all of the fish at once. And our bluegill, I did not fillet the old bluegill. Yeah, once this meat shrinks, this is gonna be a small fish taco. Well, you well, yeah, you need to catch one more and then we'll be in good shape as far as the uh, fish goes. Oh, and lots of Cajuning guys, right on the Cajuning. I don't know why I say that, it's like I've invented a new word, Cajuning. But Cajun seasoning. That's what, it's a mix of Cajun and seasoning, so I just say Cajuning. Oh, this looks, this smells good. On a, on a chilly day like this, and then you have this warm little frying pan of cooking fish on your boat. And then guys, I just thought of this. I got my tortillas and I want them to be a little bit warm because they're very cold right now. So I'm just gonna set them over the fish and heat them up. And then that'll act as kind of a lid to keep the heat in and, and cook the fish faster. All right, let's see if they're done. Ah, oh, that looks delicious. All right, so the tortilla is warm. We're just gonna stick it right in the bowl. Today I just brought some shredded cabbage. And so we'll just put some of that, a nice bed of that right there, like so. And some tartar sauce, the uh, the label got ripped off of it, so I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's just generic tartar sauce. And our fish. Just throw as much fish on there as possible. Taste a bit. Oh, it's good on that last big piece right there, guys. This is living right here. Oh, that piece is for me. Look at that, that is a thing of beauty. We're gonna fold it up like so. Pops, you gotta try this. Mm, it's nectar. One more bite, and then I'll share it. <laughs> no, you can have that one. I got a bluegill over here I'm gonna devour. Mm, that is good. Good stuff. If you've never had- Tartar song. 
a soft shell crappie taco. I'm telling you, it's good. And then I'm gonna take my bluegill out over here. Mmm, blacken just a little bit. Let's have a bite of bluegill. That good, huh? That is real good. <laughs> and we got black and bluegill. Mmm, bluegill's always good. Guys, if you have ponds by your house, you can just go out, catch a bluegill. It just takes a few minutes. Catch them, cook them up, especially in that Cajun seasoning. I'll put a link to this stuff right there because that that's the juice right there. So these bluegill here have so far escaped the this is the knife. this is the substitute. They've escaped the knife. They're like all right, we just gotta last an hour more. I kill him first. Make a quick little fillet job of him. That's a little bit more. That's a respectable size fillet right there. Let's add a couple more fillets to all that butter. And the butter, of course, is key. The Cajun and the butter. Ooh, boy. Cooking fish and on the boat. I mean, this is as fresh as it gets, guys. Enjoying. My dad could. Oh, he has one here. Oh, it's a little small. Oh man, look. He's lucky he's that smaller. He would have been ripe for the, the. Uh, <laughs> ripe for the harvest. Yes, the sacrificial board here. Well, if you catch one more, I'll. I'll, uh, I'll um, believe me, I'm fine. <laughs> I've caught two dozen, and only one has been big enough for a little keep. <laughs> And same thing. Oh, somebody took a bite out of that. I wonder who that could have been. I'm just gonna stick the tortilla right over that. We'll let that make it cook faster and heat up our tortilla. Is it ready? Oh, it's ready. Tortilla wrap there. Cabbage, tartar, and fish. Oh. I just love the sizzling sound. Literally, you could not get any fresher. This this crappie was alive <laughs> like three minutes ago. We fished so hard. Actually, we've never caught so many small ones at this reservoir, have we? You got one? Oh, he's... Oh, he's in the bag. <laughs> oh, just barely hooked, too. You want to lay him on the board? Sure. Lay him on the board. Guys. You want to kill him quick? Yeah, I'll kill him real quick. Okay, you yeah. got him? Mm -hmm. I just don't want to. Guys, this is not, I mean, look, my dad just caught it. Not 20 seconds out of the water. Set it all right in there. Beautiful. And then of course, boom. All right guys, I'm gonna do a little spontaneous. Mm, so good. Spontaneous giveaway right now of a little stove setup and a canister of propane to go with it. One of you guys, my subscribers. What you have to do is you have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to put a like on the video, and then you have to leave a comment below, any sort of comment. It doesn't have to be um, asking for the giveaway, just any comment about anything. And then what I'll do is I'll just close my eyes, randomly scroll through the comment section, and whatever the mouse lands on, whoever, who's ever's uh, uh, profile, you will win the giveaway. And then I will let you know by replying to you, but you have to comment within the first 24 hours of this video being up, and then I'll pick one of the first people to, um, who watched it in the first 24 hours, and I will pin your comment to the top. So be watching for that, and then I will send you a stove top. It won't be the same one as I have because this one's quite expensive. In fact, it's like $80 or something like that. But I'll send you another one that I use, that you guys have seen in my videos, and a canister of propane. So make sure you comment like and subscribe below guys i totally forgot one of the ingredients to the tacos and that is tomato and so for this next piece we'll have some fresh sliced tomatoes for, for this next taco we'll put our tomatoes right on there cabbage tartar and two fish fillets
Man, I'm gonna start selling these online too. Pops, since you provided the boat, would you like the last fish taco? I'll take a bite. <laughs> Oh, man, this has more. What did you put on this one? Oh, I put tomatoes on that one, too. Oh, man. Tomato and tartar and cabbage. Guys, this is just fresh fish tacos. The freshest they can possibly get. And I have something on the screen. I just caught this thing, like, yeah, 10 minutes ago. Well, less than 10 minutes, because oh. I took it out, filleted it. What, oh. fillet is like a minute, and then cooked it up was like four minutes or something. It was something. still warm. <laughs> Well, guys, we did not have to eat the hot dogs after all, and so uh, that was uh, fish tacos were a lot better than, oh, oh, than hot dogs. That was just fantastic. Uh -huh. What a great, great day. Seriously, it, guys, fresh, fresh fish. <laughs> you can't get any fresher. Uh -uh. I mean, seriously, uh -uh. the only way you could get fresh is if we would have just eaten it sashimi. Yeah, I guess and so. And I'm not eating freshwater fish this year. I've Me read neither. too many nasty things. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us on this little afternoon adventure. And we will see you in the next one.